Hello students hope you all are doing good I am Nitin and today we will understand protein targeting and insertion in the endoplasmic reticulum well proteins can be translocated into the endoplasmic reticulum either during their synthesis on membrane bound ribosomes called co-translation translocation or after their translation has been completed on free ribosomes in the cytosol called post translational translocation so as you can see in this image there is a signal sequence indicated in red color at the n terminal of polypeptide chain these signal sequences are short stretch of 15 to 40 amino acids long with 7 to 12 hydrophobic amino acid residues well in the targeting the very first step is the signal sequence is recognized by signal recognition particle called srp in the second step the srp takes the complex to endoplasmic reticular membrane where it binds to the srp receptor in third step the srp is released and the ribosome binds to the translocon an insertion of signal sequence opens the translocon in fourth step translation resumes and the signal sequence is cleaved by signal peptidase present inside the endoplasmic reticulum membrane in step 5 continued translation drives translocation of the growing polypeptide chain across the membrane in the last step the completed polypeptide chain is released within the endoplasmic reticulum lumen next process is protein insertion in endoplasmic reticulum membrane protein destined for incorporation into the plasma membrane or the membranes of these compartments are initially inserted into the endoplasmic membrane instead of being released into the lumen transmembrane proteins are inserted into the endoplasmic reticulum membrane by alpha helical membrane region there is a transmembrane sequence recognized by translocon to stop the translocation of polypeptide chain first we see insertion of membrane protein with a cleavable signal sequence the signal sequence is cleaved as the polypeptide chain crosses the membrane so the amino acid terminal of the polypeptide chain is exposed in the endoplasmic reticulum lumen the transmembrane sequence recognized by translocon to stop the translocation of polypeptide chain this allows the protein to exit the translocon laterally and become anchored in the er membrane in the next insertion process which is insertion of membrane proteins via internal transmembrane sequence in the first case the transmembrane sequence directs insertion of polypeptide such that its n terminal is exposed on the cytosolic side the transmembrane sequence exits the translocon to anchor the protein in the lipid bilayer and the remainder of the polypeptide chain is translocated into the er as translation proceeds in the second case the internal transmembrane sequence are oriented to direct the transfer of the amino terminal portion of the polypeptide continued translation results in a protein that spans the er membrane with its amino terminal in the lumen and its c terminal in the cytosol in the third case an internal transmembrane sequence results in insertion of the polypeptide chain with its n terminal on the c cytosolic side of the membrane translation proceeds until a second transmembrane sequence is encountered this causes the polypeptide chain to form a loop within the lumen of er and translation continues in the cytosol 
the process can be repeated many times resulting in the insertion of protein with multiple membrane spanning regions last process of insertion when proteins with a transmembrane sequence lies at the c terminal are not recognized by srp called post translation insertion of a protein with c terminal transmembrane sequence so as you can see in this image these proteins are recognized post translationally by the targeting factor trc40 which brings them to get1 get2 receptors they are inserted into the endoplasmic reticular membrane with their short c terminal domain on the cytosolic side this is all about protein targeting and insertion hope it would be useful to you all i am grateful to archana ma'am for all the support and motivation in the development of cell biology video series many thanks to all of you for appreciating our work please subscribe to our channel mentorship to assure abundance keep learning 